Hello, my name is Christian from SAP Software. In the next minutes I will show you how to set up a SAPSISM server on Windows together with an iMation RDX A8. Step number one is the configuration of the RDX A8. Type in the IP address, log in as administrator, use the default password, what we can read here in the documentation, click login, go to the point configuration, select system mode tape library, drive count 1. You can also adjust it to 2 or to 3 drives, but at the beginning we should start with one drive. If you see that there is a need for a second emulated or for a third emulated drive, then you can adjust that and load the configuration SAP again. System name here you can um, leave the RDX A8, that's fine. Global cartridge lock enabled. Step number two. You see here my different cartridges. I have here two 1.5 terabyte cartridges, two 1 terabyte cartridges, two 500 gigabyte cartridges, two 320 gigabyte cartridges. This mixed mode will work with sepsism. The next important step is the symbol. Here is the symbol for a tape drive. In case you buy the RDX A8 it can be that you see here a disk symbol. If you see a disk symbol you have to go to the point manage, initialize cartridge and in case you have disk cartridges you can select here each single one and click on initialize. This procedure will take a couple of minutes but after that you should see that all your cartridges are with a tape symbol. Step number two after that is to reboot the RDX A8. That's very important. You can do it here in the point diagnostics and click on reboot. This is very important because the change from a uh, um, eventually um, JBOT or disk library mode to the tape library mode needs a reboot. When this configuration is finished you go into the iSCSI management of your operating system and yeah and connect with the iMation RDX A8. That's very easy. The only thing you have to do is type in the IP address from the A8 here you can see it's still connected to the system, but in your case you um, should also see um, this uh, iSCSI link here and the status. The next, what you should check is the device view. You have to see here two different devices. The first device is a simulation of a HP LTO4 drive. The second device is the tape library itself. In case you cannot see this iSCSI link, please configure the network configuration and um, go again through the menu of the A8. The next step is go into the device manager from your operating system. Very important, the medium changer must be shown up here as a iMation RDX media changer in case you read here unknown disk changer. You have to start the Windows update on your computer. This update will install all the needed drivers for your tape library. The same with the tape drive. The drive is recognized as a HP LTO Ultrium 4 drive. In case you see here a question mark, start the Windows update again. That's very important. There is no way to say scan for hardware changes or to update driver software. What you have to do is to start the Windows update because this Windows update will bring you here in the optional updates the two drivers what you need. So perfect. Um, step number two is install the SEPSISM server. Um, go to our website www.sepsoftware.com, go into the download center, fill out the form here. I already did that so I can jump directly into the download center. 
go to Windows because I run my backup server on a Windows 7 box 64-bit Sepsism server and download it. I already download the actual version so I can start it here with a double click. What you have to do before you start the installation of the Sepsism server is um, check the name resolution on your Sepsism server. That's very important. How to do that? Step number one is type in the command ipconfig slash all here we can see the host name in this case the host name of my system is Augenblix to ask the name server if he knows this client you can test that with the command nslookup and the host name perfect in case your name server is not aware about this client you have to go into the configuration of the name server and add this client with the correct IP address. The next thing you need on your system is a Java installation from Oracle. Um, to see if there is already a Java installed you can just type in the command Java minus version. Perfect. I see here is a Java with the actual 1.6 installed. That means everything is prepared for starting the installation of the Sepsism server. Switch to English. Next. I accept default path sepsism server it includes everything okay perfect finish the first notification remind me later Good. Go to the menu point loaders. Double click loader 1. Yeah, perfect. Here you can see there is a picture of your RDX A8 library. He recognized 8 slots, 1 port, barcode. You know, barcode is more a virtual function, but you can use it. And um, everything seems to be configured right. Yeah, the same with the tape drive, recognized as a LTO tape drive. Here are the maximum SMS channels. You can rise them up to 64 streams on the same drive, but um, this always depends on the hardware, what you use for your backup. Next step, next step is media pools. Before we can start with a backup, we have to create a media pool. Click on your media pool, call it daily backup, retention time 7 days, drive group tape drives. The next step is go back to loaders, mark the loader 1, right click I have adjustment. Now we can initialize the cartridges into the media pool daily backup. This is very easy. I will do it with the first two cartridges. 0 to 1. Automatic introduction has to be activated. Override start. If we do again a right click and open contents, we can see what's happening. First cartridge is ready, second cartridge is ready. Great. Close. Next step, start a little backup task. Um, let's prepare a new backup task. Very easy. Click on the client, new backup task. Instead of fill out here task name and change the backup type we just browse into the file system and select you know my MSQL database system recovery in this test case I will select my download directory click on OK here you can see he automatically choose a task name enables the VSS shadow writers accept with OK right click immediate start backup type full on the media pool daily backup and start T 
to see the actual state of all the backups we go to the menu job state backups enable the auto update function here great let's switch to the performance window great you see the data throughput starts from 110 gigabyte per hour good the backup went very fast we had 8 gigabytes of files with a maximum throughput I don't know what do we have here 125 gigabytes per hour I think this is the maximum what the hard disk drive of a workstation can deliver to the backup server the last step is a little test restore just jump in into this backup we did a couple of seconds before yeah perfect I don't know is there something yeah let's do a restore of the sepsism server to a new restore target I don't know let's put it here in my temp directory without restructure go to job state restore enable the auto update function perfect here I see again a throughput very high great restore successful let's jump in into the temp directory and see if the file is there yes it's there that's the way how to set up a animation RDX A8 together with a Sepsism server on Windows.